The following editorial that you're about to hear was recorded about three or four months ago. And the only reason why I am uploading this is because it fits well with the Nick Cannon situation. Because up until recently, I thought Nick Cannon was an un unapologetic celebrity. But apparently, he apologized to CBS, Viacom, and whoever he offended with his interview with Professor Griff. So with that said, here is the editorial, while we'll never see an un unapologetic black celebrity. In this op-ed, I am going to touch on why we will never see an apologetic celebrity. Now, some weeks back, Snoop Dogg um, took in to um, social media where he unloaded on Gail King and gave her that work. Susan Rice answered. Susan Rice works for the government. Um, I forgot what branch of the government she works for. And she backed Gail King. And then Gail King felt that she was um, threatened and everything, that she was getting all these threats. So as a result of all this, Snoop Dogg um, went back on social media and he was forced to apologize. And I believe it was under the insistence of his mother. And then he went on an apology tour where he was on um, some table talk show with Jada Pinkett Smith. And her mom and her daughter saying about um, how Snoop Dogg was in the wrong for that. And how she felt insulted. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 just, I just felt that Snoop Dogg should just stuck to his guns. If you're going to come out and say something like that. Now, there may have been... A little um, flaws in how he said it, but it's obvious that Snoop Dogg was um, very upset because Gail King um, mentioned and said some things that were taken as unflattering about Kobe Bryant. So I understand why Snoop would respond the way he did. And I understand that Snoop Dogg only did the apology tour as it's been nicknamed because he still wants to keep working with Martha Stewart. He still wants to keep being Snoop D.O. Double G and have all these guest appearances on different shows and do all these movies. He doesn't want to find himself blackballed. But still, we're not going to find an unapologetic um, celebrity anymore. It seems like the day, I mean, I'm talking in terms of a black celebrity. And it goes back to what Andrew Wyatt said, and he said it regarding Eddie Murphy, Hollywood slave. And when I look at a Snoop Dogg, and when I even look at a Jada Pinkett Smith, I'm thinking Hollywood slave. You know, I mean, Snoop Dogg should have just stuck to his guns. I mean, he could have um, pretty much amended um, parts of what he said and how he said it. But still, Gail King didn't apologize for asking the question that was disparaging Kobe Bryant to, um, geez, I can't think of the name of that um, WNBA basketball player. But he, she didn't apologize. So why should Snoop apologize? I'm just saying we don't, we're not seeing the unapologetic black celebrity. I mean, the last ven the last venue to be unapologetic was rap music, and unfortunately, that was taken away from us. So we can't be unapologetic in our social media. 
We can't be unapologetic in our music. Hell, we can barely be that way to a degree in our movies or TV shows. So it's like people are taking upon themselves to muzzle black voices, to not really speak truth to power about our issues. And for folks that may have a much bigger voice and a bigger reach like a Snoop Dogg, that's just an epic fail that he's muzzled, that um, he's been neutered by the likes of Jada Pinkett Smith and by the likes of Gail King. And that's pretty much all I have to say on it. We're, we're, you know, we're in the age where the unapologetic celebrity, as far as black males go, doesn't exist anymore. And if somebody um, bears any semblance of that, they're um, dragged and tarred and feathered in the media. And then all of a sudden you see all their deals disappear within seconds. So I don't know. I, I think the answer is for most of us, if most of us want to be unapologetic, we're going to have to start paying our own way. We're going to have to start doing what um, Dr. Boyce Watkins would say and have um, FU money. I mean, instead of just um, turning up and spending it lavishly, we need to go saving up and stockpiling our dollars. So when events like this happen, we'll, we'll, we'll have no fear of walking away. We have no fear of losing. You know, I, we could just say, you know something? Cool. Take it away from me. Guess what? I got enough money and I got these people where we can build this. And I got the numbers that can back me. So guess what? Middle finger up to you. We should, you know, we should start doing that instead of start depending on all these folks to give us attention and sign our checks. And that is my op-ed about why we won't see unapologetic black celebrities. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. One love.